with this video I'm just gonna really just talk about the watch again uh, ch change up the setting um, and do like a, a drive talk a drive talking watches you know people just don't know how to drive and um, yeah it's a, it's a nice day and why not talk about watches and the watch I'm referring to is the Rolex Datejust 16233 and here it is and I love this watch um, I do have another one in mind uh, and potentially uh, that's gonna be a video for next weekend um, it's something that oh this is a uh, coconut grove by the way just past the, the farmers market if you guys are looking for something to do on Saturday uh, they have it every Saturday I guess from the morning till I would say sundown but um, anyways yeah I have something potentially uh, happening this week uh, so I'll have a new watch to show you guys it's, it's gonna be a surprise something that you wouldn't expect but if you're a watch collector something that you would enjoy and love so yeah the date just so far has been running perfectly no complaints um, there's one thing I like about this watch uh, and I'm not gonna say it's just with this caliber movement the 3135 but if you have really good hearing which I do it's, it's almost a crazy degree and you put your ears up to it even like right now of course you'll hear the ticking the tick 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 at whatever beats per minute but also you would hear like a a chime um, how could I describe it like a pulsation chime I think that's a good way a good way for me to really hear it is when I put it below a pillow and I put my air on top of the pillow and you get to hear it really you know profound profoundly then if you just put it just regularly close up to your ears it kind of echoes I guess through the pillow so I haven't really tested it but really just with this movement because I had the 16 610 and that has the same caliber movement like this and I got that chime in the 1601 which has a different movement I can't remember really hearing the that that note that sound the only sound I would hear on my 1601 was the ticking and if you guys are beginners and you I guess it's a popular thing to hear that Rolex don't tick tock and most watches they tick tick tock means uh, the second hand does this movement tick and it stops tock tick and it stops on this watch it's a sweeping hopefully it focuses as you see the second hand is just sweeping no stop no stopping just a smooth sweep and that's and that's how most automatic watches move they have a sweep and if you really focus on them you would see like it's almost a little bit of like a stoppage in between um, but yeah guys I'm in love with this bracelet the Jubilee bracelet if you check the previous video before I mentioned and comparing the hollow center link bracelets to the solid uh, center link bracelets and just being able to enjoy the the light feel the flexibility of it um, 
that's one thing I enjoy with this bracelet. Um, and yeah, it's, it's definitely something like, like you, I work out with it, I go for a run with it. And today I'm dressed up a little casual, whatever, just a hat, uh, button up jeans, and the watch still looks like it's meant to be on my wrist. Um, it does catch a little more eyes um, than my blue dial one, the 1601. Um, and I'm assuming it's because of the white dial. And another thing that, that a lot of people notice who aren't watch people, watch collectors or anything like that, they just notice and know of a Jubilee bracelet. You know, as soon as they see the two-tone Jubilee, they think Rolex, you know, even though some other watches have it, like the Seiko, um, and you can just buy a Jubilee bracelet and put it on any watch. Um, but yeah, as soon as they see that, they initially just think Rolex. Um, and this is like just a signature uh, Rolex case that most people think of. And it's in the, the date just in the president in the date all these models have this uh fluted bezel and yeah anyways i hope you guys enjoy your weekend uh stay safe wear a mask um it's, it's, it's funny um how when people wear their masks when they're inside the car driving i almost had mine on when I was gonna make this video, but anyways, wear a mask, stay safe. Um, this week is gonna be an uh, interesting week with the election coming up. Um, who knows what's gonna happen uh, right now? I don't want to get too much into it, but you know, with the stock market, uh, it's going down. I don't know who else is watching this if you're into the stock market. Um, but yeah, it's been a rough couple of weeks, but let's just hope for the best. Uh, potentially, things could just start going back up. Um, I mean, most people kind of foresee what's gonna happen or saw that what's happening now was gonna happen. But a lot of people, I guess, if you uh, more like long-term or swing traders maybe, mostly for the long-term, they just put their money, they just don't look at it. And if you look now, which I don't recommend, don't look <laughs> before you get a heart attack. Now is not a good time to really look or think about taking your money out because of this uh, major sell-off that uh, happened yesterday and the past few days. But anyways, it's not about really the stock market, but just wanted to add that because most watch collectors are into stock trading. Anyways, again, subscribe guys, hit that like button, and follow me on Instagram where I post maybe a little bit more than I do on YouTube. I'm trying to post more videos on YouTube. Um, it's not the easiest thing just to pick up the camera. Uh, it's not always that I have it with me. What I tried to do today was just like, just have the camera with me like I have my phone, you know? Um, I'm thinking about getting a GoPro, which I think will be a little bit more uh subtle not so much like this camera i have a canon g7x which is a nice camera but at the same time i would rather prefer like a small uh gopro where i can just you know vlog at the same time and put more vlogs out um because i think i'm well you guys love to watch content a little bit more than anything else um so but i want to tie in vlogs and have watches within a regular daily vlog you know and everything else uh, that's going on so um, yeah guys just stay tuned um, just slow progress trying to get the YouTube thing you know not every day I'll pick up a camera so subscribe though turn your notification on so that you know when I post something and uh, I'll see you guys in my next video